all right hey good evening all good evening all we are live this saturday night <laughs> in elder scrolls online we are here because larian studios dropped a major patch number seven and it borked my game and a whole bunch of other people's games so after spending pretty much all day yesterday trying to get it to work uh boulders gate 3 is still borked and uh before everybody says oh you know it's because you use mods well <clears throat> Welcome, friend. don't believe me. Yeah, yes, I do use mods in the game. Well, even staying on, even even reverting back to patch number six, where everything was working just fine, I uh, still can't get it to work right. And even with nothing installed whatsoever, no wings, no angel wings, no, you know, skimpy outfits or anything like that. It just base game, couldn't even get it to work. Would not want to fire up. Uh, pretty much did the standard. IT stuff, uninstalled it, cleaned out the registry, rebooted, rebooted again, you know, did another search on the reg keys, removed anything and everything possibly related to Boulders Gate 3, and uh, reinstalled the game fresh, kept it on patch number six so it would not update. Well, the damn thing still doesn't want to work right. So what I noticed though through network traffic is it's going back to Larian Studios and, and grabbing a uh, particular file. So I think the file is an updated file, which is causing the older version to tank. And even when you upgrade to the latest version, at least for my instance, the damn thing still tanks. You know, patch number seven still blows. Even a complete fresh uninstall reinstall redoing everything multiple times cleaning everything out researching it on larian forms and everything like that so the game's going to be borked for a while and uh we got a couple of backup games here we've got elder scrolls online and we're going to be uh doing the gray moor chapter tonight we're on my cute little wood elf reina here see you know reina and uh we're gonna Take her to the Greymore chapter. She's only level 21, so I figure make it a little bit more of a challenge. And, uh, you know, I catch flack from people. But I hope everybody is doing well on this Saturday night and welcome in. I hope my regular people that follow me for uh, Boulders Gate 3 are going to follow me over here until we can get the game fixed you know i really do like you know boulders gate 3 it's got a lot of options and you know we have we have one companion here her name is miri yes i do kind of have a crush on her too hope we find something interesting today what would you like to talk about you're pretty good adventuring partner i'd say reliable agreeable no complaints uh, I like to hear that. So she's my pocket healer. So Raina here, she's a cute little wood elf. And she is like a rogue. So she's going to be up close and personal. And we're going to go ahead and get the show on the road and head to Western Skyrim. And she has nothing out here. So it's going to be a, a little bit of a exploration also so here we go beam me up welcome in whoever just dropped in Oh, well, we got the quest starter over here. Oh, but first things first. Uh, I am having a adult beverage tonight. It is a 12-year-old whiskey, Telomar Dew. 
and uh, really smooth. Oh my God, it's like drinking a Snapple iced tea, which is the scary part. Wow. Wow, that is just an awesome whiskey. It's a sipping whiskey, so that will probably take me an hour to finish just because I want to enjoy it. So, me sit up straight in the chair. Uh, by the end of the stream, I'll be slouched down and stuff like that. All right, there we are. Okay. Like I said, I appreciate everybody that followed me over from Boulder's Gate 3 tonight to Elder Scrolls. And um, we're just going to kind of broaden our horizons here a little bit. Appreciate it. There's no time. Take this. Keep it safe. You know, you know, you know what my mama always used to say is don't talk to strangers and don't take things from strangers. But yeah, if we don't take this from him, he'll follow us all the way into the keep and everything like that. It's, it's kind of hilarious. But then the game kind of bugs out. Uh, what? Are, okay, so let's see. Uh, wait, what are you giving me? Hopefully it's a satchel of gold coin, you know? Information. The Ice Reach Coven at work in the West. I just need more proof. Go, they're coming. Who's coming? The ones who attacked you? Who's coming? Choo choo! The ones who attacked you? Don't trust them. Only Lyris. She's. Lyris? We know Lyris. We saved her ass last night. You there. What did that fugitive tell you? Draw on me? You draw on me? Draw your sword and shield on me? Raina don't take kindly to that. Don't let her cute little small figure. Who are you? Another spy? What did this lying Easterner say to you? Let's see. I was just going about my business when I saw he was injured. Assisting a fugitive is a crime in Hafingar Hold. Unless you want to find out how we deal with traitors and spies, tell me what he said to you. Ooh, this guy's bossy. You know, bossy, bossy, bossy. All right. We're going to we're going to we're just going to do this. Uh let's see. He said something about the Ice Reach Coven at work in the West. Do you know what that means? Yeah, we're going to lie. Lie. We're at lie. He died before he could say anything. Lucky for you. If he had told you any seditious lies and you decided to keep them from us, you'd have been in real trouble. Okay, you freaking Nazi. I hear you. Don't stick your nose where it doesn't belong. Solitude doesn't take kindly to instigators or strangers. Mm -hmm. And mark my words, you'd rather not get on the wrong side of the High King's guard. All righty, goodbye. Get out of here. Go on. Just remember, I'll be keeping an eye. Frickin' douchebag. All right, let's see what it says. Where stoves stand south of the lovely docks, in the shadow of their shelter, where the living trees keep watch. Hmm. That's a mystery.
All right. Uh, there we go. Should pop up now. Yep. There we go. She kind of went the wrong way, but whatever. See? Raina's got the tattoos. She's got the antlers. She's a cute little wood elf, you know? You know, she's got skimpy clothing. All good. Yeah, let's see. What the? Somebody's been here. Search a make a uh, marked crate. All right, we're going for a swim. She needs a bath anyway. It's, it was a long trip from from Ardon to Western Skyrim. All right. <clears throat> Hey, 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 whiskey tonight. Whiskey for tonight for me too, Mr. MP. There we go. Whoop. Uh, let's see. Right about there. There we go. How you doing, man? Man, you missed my intro, you know? Hey, uh, uh, I've been on the Larian forums. Oh, man. They got themselves a nice hot mess. See? See? Uh, am I... Am I... Wood Elf? You know, she's got the tattoos. She's got the little antlers, you know, a cute little thing, you know, and best of all, guess what? You know, her name's Raina also. Uh-huh. So, yeah. Skimpy little outfit. You know, I think we're kind of good to go. Man, I'm, I, I've, I've got high elves. I've got humans. I've got... Wood elves, I've got drow, dark elves. I mean, yeah, I got, I got a lot. So this one's a rogue. So she's got her little daggers, you know, and then if, if the uh, shit gets really real, she pulls out her big badass great sword. Ride her like a motorcycle. Yeehaw! And now we gotta go here? Okay. Let's see. Let's set up some extra... Customize... I don't have... Ah, uh. oh, yes. So she even has a she even has a teleporter, almost almost as good as Star Trek. Watch this. Let's 
See? That's some pretty cool. That's some pretty cool crap, huh? She's got a kitty cat mount. It's it's got a got fire on it. Oh, and a cat that breathes. That, that's that's avalanche when I don't beat them in a timely manner. So Love the kitty cats? Yeah, I got lots of them. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. So this is my Yeah, pr pretty much. So these are all the cats that I've got in in this game so far. Yeah, I got a lioness, a leopard, a uh, black senshi panther. Oh, I think that'd be kind of cool. And I got a, uh, let's see, get that one active. I forget what this one looks like. Like, like a wizard, wizardly one. So, got quite a few of them. But, uh... I think this one will probably suit a wood elf better. Leopard. Anything with electricity? Uh, maybe. Hold on. Let's see. I think the closest one I've got it would be this one. Thing. That's more of a more of like a, a smoky type of mist, you know. Then uh, I even got one that's got like scales on it too, which is kind of weird. Somebody must have been smoking something pretty good that night. See. like spews all over itself too so kind of weird what else I got nothing under the spiders horses of course yeah it looks like acid I think you're right Got a two-legged tadpole. Smacks its ass. I got. I think we'll go with the tadpole tonight. Got camels, even got camels. Oh, and I've I've got a fox, uh, a lizard dog, a lizard wolf, a vampire wolf hound. Uh let's see. Oh, we got a ram. <laughs> Let's ride. Maybe maybe Raina from Boulder's Gate 3 got turned into the ram with with the horns, you know? Maybe that's what happened. Anyway, uh <clears throat> I got a I think I got a gator. This is almost like a gator. I have no idea. 
Uh, yeah, that one brings back bad memories. We'll just we won't use that one. We don't like that one. I got a bear. Got a bear also. That gives me vertigo though. But we'll we'll just go back to uh kitty cap. Or bipedal. Oh, Harrow Storm's up. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Hopefully we have enough people in the zone to do it. Yeah. We got a pretty big group event going on here. this way my level 50 can't even beat one of these things by herself my max level tune can't even beat one of these things so her being little level 21 yeah we'll give it a minute or two see how many people are in the zone Let's see. Not many. That ain't happening. Back to our quest. There you go, girl. Let's go back to kitty cat. I like the kitty cat mounts better. Welcome in, welcome in. How you doing tonight? <laughs> do, do I play the piano? Oh gosh, no. Never learned how. Back. I'll do it. I'll stab you. Yeah, you, you go like yeah, you're so scary there. Nah, I don't play the piano. How you doing tonight? I mean, if we're going off of that, if we're going that route, MP, I could say the same thing. I mean it. One step closer, and I'll stick you like a hawker. I uh, see. I'm not here to hurt you. I need to talk to you about the about uh, Rondold, whatever. Oh, pizza, pizza! I had that for dinner tonight. I don't know any Brondold. That is what I told the guards, and that is what I'm telling you. I don't want any more trouble. You make me stab you, and it's my word against yours.
Hey, hey, thanks, man. Welcome in. Let's see, Brondel's dead. He left me with a handful of papers and a lot of questions. Dead? Stone's mercy. But I'm next, aren't I? I promise. I don't know anything. I won't make any trouble. I'll disappear. I don't even like it here. You'll never see me again. Let's see. I didn't kill him. Just tell me what this is all about. Clank, clank, clank. Yep, yep, yep. He... He did not tell me a lot. Said he was tracking some bad people. Asked me to keep an eye out for any unusual comings and goings. He'd come by now and then with a sweet roll and a few coins for my trouble. He was nice. Ah, and did you see anything out of the ordinary, eh? Thanks all for coming in. The last time we spoke, it was about the men with the job postings. A pair of wolves in sheep's clothing. Trying mm. to blend in, but still off around the edges. Same with their horses. Sheared mountaineers. Right? Come from the reach, I wager. Well, let's see. Uh, what's the reach? A wild land full of wild folk. Located south and west of here. It's changed hands between Reachmen and the Nords more times than I can count. But they control the territory now. Seeing Reachmen wandering the streets of solitude, it makes me nervous. Uh, what, what, what does that make you, why does that make you nervous? All right, I, uh, don't know if it's my old eyesight or if it's just the few sips of whiskey I've had that are causing my eyes to kind of blur. I'm not slurring it yet. Insane if you knew the tales of the fall of Markarth, what the rich men do to folks they capture, better to slice your own throat than let those barbarians take you alive. If they raid our hold, just run and don't look back. Dang, girl, calm down, you know? Aloha, Mr. Prizer. Welcome in, welcome in. Uh, let's see. You think those men were trying to hide where they came from? They'd be wise to. The only time Reachmen and Nords meet is to kill each other. I always heard they were raiders and barbarians. No interest in honest labor, or writing for that matter. Not the sort to post job notices. I see. What do you think they're what do you think they really want? Who knows? Maybe they really do need laborers. Can't imagine Reachmen would hire Nords so. It doesn't make a lot of sense. Right? Hey, man. You too. You have a good one also. Glad glad you came by. You know, thanks for coming in. Like I said, we're... Boulder's Gate 3 is Bort. Thank you, Larian. Cheers. I'll probably not be able to play Boulder's Gate 3 for a while until they fix that. Ah, so sad. Yeah. Bring. Yeah, man. Good luck, too. Bring, brings a tear to my eye. Flyers. They were hanging them at the inn around the city. Something about a lucrative opportunity in the Druidic Mountains. I really did not pay them a lot of attention. I was more interested in the men distributing them. I really did not play. Eh, let's see. So what? So what are you going to do now? Oh, Cyclops! I love Cyclops. Take Brondel's horse and run before someone less friendly comes to find me. 
Bronn was going to take me back east after he finished here. I want to live where strangers are welcomed with a smile instead of a scowl. I hear Windhelm is like that. All right, yeah, just watch your back. You don't want to get Clinton sighted or anything like that, you know? All right, are the people here that suspicious of strangers? We are stuck between the despot of Markarth and the Scold King of the East. Both sniff around like wolves, waiting for a moment of weakness to strike. Not a day goes by without a threat of war. It is exhausting living this way. I bet. Hey, hey, welcome in. Thanks for the first time chat. Clip it. Clip it. I think it's uh, supposed to be pinch it. Pinch it. All right. See where we need to go next. Oh, okay. So we got to go up the hill and... Back, back onto the fire kitty. Probably a good thing she's riding a fire cat because, you know, we are in a cold area where there's snow, so it'll help keep her tushy warm. Hey, welcome in, man. Oh, he's got the ram also. Like I said, you know, she's 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 got her outfits and stuff, you know. So we're not totally left, you know, hanging because Larian decided to bork their game for a majority of people. Uh, appearance. She. We even got hats. So maybe we can give her like a, you know, Van Helsing hat type of thing, you know? So yeah, we can do hat or no hat. What do you think? Give her a witch's hat, you know? I think we're gonna go no hat. We give her like a weird ass looking fa a helm hat or something like that, you know? And weird. She's got her got her Christmassy hat. Almost time for Christmas, you know. Actually, yes, I do have a YouTube channel. Let me go ahead and post that real quick. That that's a Christmas hat. You see. All I have to do is just dye that and, you know, so we got a hat or no hat. All right, there's my YouTube channel, so it's just the same. YouTube.com at Nariana Zone. And uh, please go ahead, like, subscribe, and click the notification button. So, oh yeah. What do you think? So we got the Van Helsing one, like I said. <laughs> I 
Uh, yes, I do. I have uh, X.com, which is Nariana Zone, and Instagram, which is also Nariana Zone. I'll go ahead and put those in chat here in a second. And just uh, getting this information for people that are asking about it. So just give me a minute here, people. So I can uh, just uh, grab it all and off we go. Just going to take me a minute. I should have had this already prepared. Just something that slips your mind, you know? Anyway, so yeah, welcome all in, man. Welcome in. Thank you for all coming over and sticking with me while, uh, while, uh, Larry gets things fixed up, hopefully. There we go. There we go. That's that's all my social media and stuff. Yeah, I had pizza for dinner myself. Oh, tonight, tonight we're in Elder Scrolls Online with uh, Reina, my wood elf. We're doing the Greymore chapter in game, and uh, we're just exploring it. It's it's a little bit of an older chapter, but very popular. Right now, we're trying to pick a hat for her. You know, and I haven't gotten much response. So, I mean, we, we've got the... Like, the Van Helsing hat, you know, with the feather. Oh, I got the werewolf hunter hat, which is kind of cool. You know, and then we got, like, the Christmas hat. And we got some bird looking thing not exactly sure what that is then uh let's see we got the christmas hat like for an elf you know like like you know then we have something else that's kind of weird cyclops helmet don't know how you'd see out of that i i think we'll go with the werewolf hunting hat about kind of like I don't know kind of like the antler look though you know all right so now we got to go here first things first we'll go ahead and get the uh we'll get we'll get the way Alrighty. Let's see what trouble we can get into now. Oof. Fascinating application of the technique. Let's got a quest giver up here that we gotta chat with. 
Welcome. Are you here on Mage's Guild business? Mage's Guild? Yes, of course. We're law keepers across the face of Tamriel. Guild members seek out books, tomes, and ancient scrolls in their travels. Why don't you speak with me for a moment? Perhaps you'd like to join. I thought we already did. Always good to speak with another knowledge seeker. Guildmaster Vanus will be pleased. We're book hunters of a sort. We seek out new information, capture it in our libraries, and make copies for distribution across Tamriel. The guild doesn't care about battlefields or boundaries, just knowledge and the acquisition of new tomes. All right, what do I get in return? We provide training in unique spells and abilities only available to members. And from time to time, projects crop up for those with an adventuresome spirit. You may end up working with the Guildmaster himself. Oh. That's kind of cool, considering I never joined the Guild on this tune, apparently. Excellent. You are now a student of the Mages Guild. Every book you find will now earn you reputation in the Guild. That's cool. Hey man, free XP. See what I else see what else I'm missing. Oh. I'm missing the fighters guild too. Holy shit. This tune is new. Ah, poor girl. So neglected. I think I probably actually just created her to be a placeholder for somebody just got knifed. I think I created her just to be a placeholder for the name. I'm actually more of a more of a high elf person myself. I am drinking a 12 year old whiskey Telemar Dew with a very beautiful amber, amber, just sipping it. What about yourself? I was to Nord writing me. Guess I talked to somebody around here. Been talking about hunting mammoths with friends. Get rid of that, get rid of that. Looking for a weapon or shield? If you expect to be cracking horker heads anytime soon, there's a spot where if you hit it just right, <laughs> well, it's messy. But effective. Nice to know that. All right, so where is this fighter guild, dude? Did you know that the clouds are vapors from the passing of Dwemer air beasts? Someone at the Lonely Troll just told me that. I never knew. Okay. Oh, her. The walls of solitude intrigue me, as they should for any siege master who takes their job seriously. What's so special about solitude's walls? Ah, you're having oh, Jack, huh? Mystery, a fading knowledge. These walls, built during High King Erling's reign in the First Era, both showcase the Nord's mastery of fortification and bear the Divine's blessings. Is it Gentleman Jack or just regular Jack? So goes the story. I hope to ascertain the truth of that with further research. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must return to my studies. Okay. Here you are. Looking for a guy. You'll find no better meads than in solitude. Okay. 
maybe this person? Ever had me? <laughs> I. Should we should be able to up? Uh, During last year's burning of King. We should be able to. Ah, uh, gentlemen, you ran out of old granddad and Willard. Okay. That works. No idea where the uh, main guild boss manager is. But maybe he's outside. Ah, there he is. Welcome to our hall. Are you familiar with the guild? The Fighters Guild. You should consider joining up. We have a new guild master and a new singular purpose. Why don't we talk for a moment? Right, let's find out. Sounds good. Excellent. I know we'll all be drawing blades together soon enough. Now, what can I tell you? You mentioned a singular purpose. Right. Our new guildmaster is an Argonian, sees all colors. She has us all hunting down the danger and their damned anchors. You might have seen them. Enormous chains, plagues of Daedra boil out to lay waste to the countryside. Hard fights. Yep, yep. <laughs> Guildmaster Yofnir passed away recently, very suddenly. I always thought he'd die with a blade in his hand. But he passed away in his sleep, called to sovereign guard by his ancestors. We all miss him, but Colors has proven to be a very able leader. Nice. Ha! There's a good question. We train our members in special techniques, and the higher-ups are always looking for motivated members to help with special projects. You never know, you might be the next Yofnir. All right, let's join the guild. Then let me be the first to officially welcome you as an associate of the Fighters Guild. Get out there and take the fight to the Daedra. All right, now we're good. See, now we get to have the intimidating presence. And now that we have the Mages Guild, we can use our persuasion to manipulate people and to do what we want them to do. Ah, good old Lyris. We saved her ass last night. Vestige? You're a sight for sore eyes. Feels like it's been ages since, well, you know. I'd invite you for a drink, but I'm about to present myself to royalty just as soon as my contact arrives. I see. Rondold isn't coming. He's dead. He's dead, Jim. He's what? Oh, damn it. Queen Gerhild will be here at any moment. Look, Her Highness is expecting to talk to me and my contact. I need you to pretend to be that contact or this will go very badly. We can exchange intimate details of our lives later. Right now, just know that the safety of all of Skyrim, maybe even all of Tamriel, depends on how this meeting goes. So follow my lead and be on your best behavior with Her Highness. <laughs> she has no idea what she's asking. Best behavior? Best behavior? I get told that all the time at work. Be on your best behavior, you know. Be professional, you know. Look look professional, you know. You know, better yet, just don't say anything in the meetings. 
And then I just go, ah, but and they're like, nope, nope. I get the, uh, I get the, you know, it's like Dr. Evil in the Austin Power movies, you know? Follow your lead with what? There is Titanborn. Your reputation is known even here in the West. Is this one of your famed companions? No, but I assure you my partner is one of the Scald King's best. Go introduce yourself, partner. What the hell, Lyris? Hold your ass out of Cold Harbor last night, and and that now now I'm just like a doormat. She's not very nice. I am Gerhild, Queen of Skyrim. Allow me to welcome you on behalf of our kingdom, our city, and our hold. Who might you be? Dang. The letter that preceded your arrival said an attempt was made on the Scald King's life. It indicated that High King Svalgrim would be next. My husband took that as an accusation and a threat. He will not meet with you, but I will hear you out. Let's see, I've witnessed some concerning things since I've arrived here, Your Majesty. Have you anything that would persuade my husband? It will take some substantial evidence to convince High King Svagrim to heed the words of the hated Joran, the Skald King. Uh, there's evidence of reach, Reachman activity around Solitude, like they're mortal enemies. Reachman transgressions will not be enough for Svalgrim to accept outside help. He's a prideful man, and the bad blood between him and Joran runs deep. I will speak on your behalf, but you and Lyris will need to bring me proof he cannot ignore. Right? All right, we'll, we'll find that proof, Your Majesty. Thank you for alerting me to this situation. I am eager to see what else you uncover. I will do what I can, but be as discreet as possible. If you run afoul of my husband, he won't hesitate to return you to Yoren, and not necessarily in one piece. All right, so here's all the questions. Why is there bad blood between High King Sovram and Yoram, the Skull King? What sort of proof will persuade the king to listen? A soldier accused me of being a spy. Are your people always so suspicious? Yeah, let's just start from the top. Eastern and Western Skyrim have been at odds since the kingdom was divided. Joran's ambitions for the Ruby Throne, however, have created a new level of tension. Forming alliances and raising armies for conquest. Should we not be wary of such a man? Uh, Sovereign thinks Joram wants to take over his kingdom? Frankly, yes. He believes Joran hasn't marched here with an army as yet, because the Western Holds are firmly united against Pact Rule. My husband is certain Joran plots to erode those allegiances. He will not easily earn the High King's trust. I see. What sort of proof will persuade the King? You must convince my husband that a threat greater than Yoren exists. Further, this threat must directly imperil the High King. Find proof of this, and I will assist you how I can. Helping to keep our hold safe will also allay his concerns. Mm. What we found so far isn't enough? It's enough for me to believe your intentions are sincere. Learn more about these suspicious activities you mentioned. Then bring it to me. If this threat is as dangerous as Joran claims, prove it, and I will make my husband listen to reason. All right. See. Soldier accused me of being a spy. Are your people always so suspicious? My deepest apologies. Between the reach to our south and the Ebonheart Pack to the east, our soldiers have come to see all outsiders as a potential threat. I will look into this. Vigilance cannot be allowed to become a bludgeon. All right.
You handled that better than I expected. Now what in Mara's name happened to Brondolt? Let's see, he was fleeing pursuit and gave me a bundle of papers before he died. Damn, lucky thing he found you. Brondold was supposed to get the lay of the land before I got here. Without his information, my work for Euron the Scald King could be over before it begins. What did he give you? Hand it over. Alrighty, here's everything. Hmm, smugglers and reachmen up to illicit business. Nothing unusual there, but Brondold thought it could be connected to the Coven. I'm short a good investigator, and you stepped into the role easily enough. Can I count on you to help me with this? Oh man! Yeah, she gets to be gets to play the little errand girl. What do you need me to do? Rondold mentioned some locals we should have a talk with. A snitch named Grega who likes to gamble in back alleys, and an orc named Mog who frequents the Lonely Troll Inn. Let's find them and see what they can tell us. All right, can you explain what's, uh, what this is all about? Succinctly? No, but I'll try. The Ice Reach Coven recently attacked the Skald King. We learned they're planning something in Western Skyrim as well. Mm. So Joran sent me to warn them. Beyond that, we have the leads Brondold found, and that's about it. Well, not much. Tell me about the Ice Reach. Reach witches from an island to the north in the Sea of Ghosts. Nords drove their kind out of Skyrim a long time ago, and we thought they were gone forever. Seems we were wrong. Why did Yoram send you to help Sovereign? They obviously have a bad history. While it's true that Svargrim and Yoram don't get along, the Skald King doesn't want something terrible to befall Western Skyrim. That would be bad for the East as well as the West. Besides, Yorin was hoping for an opportunity to improve relations. Hmm. How, how do we know the smugglers and reachmen are what are even connected? We don't, but it's all we've got. Even if they aren't connected to the Ice Reach Coven, taking care of a few of Svargrim's problems might earn us some goodwill. Now, let's go check out the back alleys and the Lonely Troll Inn. Succinctly? No, but I'll try. The Ice Reach Coven recently attacked the Skald King. We learned they're planning something in Western Skyrim as well, so Joran sent me to warn them. Beyond that, we have the leads Brondold found, and that's about it. Ooh, I ran into the Coven. I overheard them plotting something about destructive storms and a harvest. Ooh. I had a run-in with the Coven, too. First at their stronghold in the Sea of Ghosts, then in East March. They tried to... well... Let's say they had plans of an unkind nature regarding the Skald King. I stopped them, then came here to warn Svargrim. Okay. See, they, the... The developers of Elder Scrolls, they like to lay out a storyline. And right now, they're laying out all the key players. Castle Dower is a monument to the Western spirit. Stony and cheerless. Maybe the new tower will liven up the place. Right? We'll see. Hey, don't step on the dice. There a reason you're interrupting our game, hawk face. Uh, Brondold said you might know something about the smuggling goods from Sentinel. Don't know any Brondold. Don't know you. Either way, I got nothing to tell you. Get lost. I'm on a winning streak. All right, and this is why we pick up the Mages Guild. And we're going to have to take a break here in a minute. All right, persuasion. Rondel's dead because of what's the, what's in those crates. We'll come for you too. If you won't talk to me, you can talk to my large friend with the axe. We'll go the nicer route at first. Dead? That's a new one. Nothing Kasala usually moves through port is worth killing over. You didn't hear it from me, but she's the one picking up those shipments. 
Her warehouse is down on the docks. You want to know more? Go ask her. I'll talk to her, thanks. Oh yes, I remember this quest. This is an annoying Dejean or Genie quest. We're going to ignore that one for now because it's annoying. Off we go. Right? Oh, uh, we're supposed to go. We're supposed to go to a. Uh, supposed to go to a. Hub. There we go. I can get behind that. There we go. You must be Mog. I have questions. Questions? <laughs> Happy to oblige. Buy a few rounds and let's chat. You're going to answer me, Orc, or... Hey! Nobody intimidates my friend. Princess Vanna. Oh boy. Princess. Alright, so... We've been at this for just over an hour. It is a break time. I gotta stretch. Stretch the legs out a bit. And we will be right back.
All right, we are back. Hope everybody stretched. Thank you all for coming in. Appreciate it. Everybody got some water, and some good stuff, a beverage or something. Because we are back and they're laying the, the groundwork for this chapter. And if you've just come in, uh, we're in Elder Scrolls on night. <laughs> online tonight because uh boulders gate three is broken thank you larian and uh till they fix it we'll be either playing elder scrolls online or star trek online with the dino and right now we're doing uh western skyrim uh graymore chapter so we're gonna go talk to the little uh degenerate princess here who gave you the right to walk in here and bully my friend? Did my father send you? Why would your father send someone to bully Mog? Because he doesn't like Mog. But I like Mog. Mog doesn't care that I'm a princess, and it doesn't matter to me that Mog's a scoundrel. Uh, my father didn't send you here, why are you threatening my friend? Uh, the princess and the scoundrel, just like Star Wars. Little egg there, little Easter egg there. We wanted to ask if he saw the people putting up the job postings. Smelly bastards. Cheap, too. Wouldn't buy us a drink. They hung their flyers and left without saying a word. Mm -hmm. Then a different smelly bastard showed up to sign on workers. He was a charmer, though. You remember anything else about this charmer? <laughs> His breeches fit well. And he was handsome. Not a Nord. Breton, maybe. I didn't really listen to what he was saying. A half dozen workers left with him. Off to the Drudok Mountains or someplace. He hasn't been back since. Mm. It should simply be a thank you, not your highness. Let's talk outside, partner. Dang, Titanborn, you're, you're Lyris, you're ready to like draw down on your partner? Shit. Just get you, I gotta get you a mug of meat or something. So we've got a mysterious Breton possibly working with Reachmen, recruiting workers for some unknown purpose. Plus, there's a smuggler hiding unknown contraband in a warehouse down by the docks. I say we deal with the smuggler first. Ooh, we're gonna blast him. We know where to find her, and we more or less know what she's up to. And if the two are connected, maybe the smuggler can help us narrow our search for the Breton. Ready to visit Casella's warehouse? Let's do this. We go this way, though. Where are we going? Oh, we got a ways. Kitty cat with a flame tail. That's 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 what Avalanche, my cat's like when I step on his tail. He. But he he my cat he likes to just flop down behind me in the kitchen as I'm making stuff so he gets stepped on all the time I think he's used to it he knows he does it he does it on purpose Ooh, hmm you can go here that's Casella's warehouse only one sentry let's try not to cause a scene Private property. Get lost. Wait. A half giant? Is that Lyris Titanborn? <laughs> you know Lyris? Blood and Blade. Everyone knows Lyris Titanborn. What a woman. She's even larger than I imagined. No wonder she fought Swordmaster Sai Sahan to a draw. Wait, is he here too? 
No, just us. We need to see Kasala. Until Kasala returns, I'd be happy to keep Fair Lyris company in her stead. Alas, Kasala doesn't allow visitors when she isn't here to conduct business. But we can wait out here. Do you think Lyris would autograph my ancestral scabbard? Would mean so much to my son. <laughs> when I have one. Do you know if Lyris is betrothed? I'm not sure, but if you get yours... But if we... If you get your scabbard, she'd be happy to autograph it. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. You don't know how much this means to me. I don't know what you said to him, but this is our... Good job with the sentry. You got rid of him and I didn't have to bash him or anything. See if you can pick the... But you actually got to use actual lockpick keys on this. See what's in those marked crates. I'll watch the door. All right. I feel a battle coming on. I knew whoever was poking through our shipments would return. Brought muscle this time, I see. More than you. Care to try me? I'll pass. I just want to know who's been meddling in my business. Ooh. Standoff. So, Lyris, you take the dude with the axe. I'll take the archer here. And... I'll, I'll dice her up. I had a feeling it wasn't just an opportunistic thief trying to steal my cargo. What are you after? Proof of a plot against the High King. Care to explain what's in these crates? A plot against the High King? Involving plundered antiquities from Hammerfell? Preposterous. I'm simply facilitating a transaction between treasure hunters and a rich collector. So, who am I paying the bribe to? You or the High King? What about these reach? Fetishes. Give me that. Tribal crafts my arse. I told that son of a skeever I don't deal in arcane goods, especially ones from the Reach. Nothing but sorrow comes from such business. This isn't cursed, is it? Who hired you to smuggle this? No name, just instructions and gold. Shipments come in, I make sure no one looks too closely and wait for a pickup. Never see his same face twice. Last time it was a smooth talk in Breton with Nord laborers in tow. You want more? I need assurances. Oh, hi, Duke. Welcome, buddy. Duke just joined us. He's in the uh, stands. I'm sure we can work something out. They're taking the cargo to an abandoned lodge in the foothills north of Solitude. Occasionally used it myself when the city guard was being thorough. Want to catch them? Start there. If that's all, we're leaving. I'm not losing my head over this. Can you tell me anything else about the Breton and the laborers? The Breton was sly, handsome even. Thought he could charm me into taking on additional shipments. Now that I know what's involved, the trouble isn't worth it. The Nords were local, hired hands from the Lonely Troll. You never check your cargo? I'm paid not to ask too many questions. This arrangement was a lucrative one. I trusted them. But it seems they took advantage of my natural greed. That won't happen again. Okay, bye. Rondald had good instincts. We're definitely onto something. Our mystery buyer is hiring locals to haul these urns and reach fetishes out of the city. But for what purpose? Could it have something to do with the ritual I saw the witch perform at the barrel? Hmm. The coven was also perfecting some kind of ritual in Ice Reach. Something to do with storms. If these fetishes are from Ice Reach, you may be onto something. Still, why involve the locals? Seems like an unnecessary risk. Right? Huh? I guess we should go check the lodge. Good idea. Head there while I circle around from the other direction. Maybe I can catch them before they reach the lodge. Just be careful. 
I'd rather not lose another partner at this point in the investigation. I'll see you there. Give your sentry my best, and tell him I owe him an autograph. Oh, he's gonna get more than an autograph if I see him again. All right? Just tired of walking anyway. All right, let's see if we can go, uh... All right, let's go get this one. We'll get a gray shrine or two. And that one, that will uh... See if we can pick up... Oh, yeah, here we go. Troll! Oh, she got smacked. She got whacked. She got whacked. Poor little Reina. We're gonna grab this teleporter. And let's see where we need to go. Like I said, I've, I'm, I have not. Okay, so we're close. I have not done any of this chapter on this too so everything is brand spanking new Bag button. That should fetch a fair fetching price. Damn, I was a vampire. And it's the picture of the vampire over there. Over there, anybody? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Background there, you know. We we got. Raina here. We got the vampire over here. Guess what we're going to be fighting in this chapter? Mm-hmm. Let's see. That's a player. Okay. I thought I was going to have to knife him. Now that's a blood sucker. Over here, partner. All I found were these Reachmen stalking the pass. Decided they'd rather die than talk, so I obliged. They don't look like they're from Ice Reach, but they are wearing the Coven's medallions. Anyway, did you find the lodge? Oh yeah, the lodge was empty, but I found a letter for the Breton. Orders to send shipment to Kilkreath. Kilkreath? The Temple to Meridia? Why would the Ice Reach Coven target a local Daedra cult? Uh, the letter said they were ready to start the ritual as soon as they received the shipment. Damn, we're running out of time. I'll head back to Solitude and try again to warn High King Svargrim. You go to Kilkreath Temple and alert Meridia's priests. I'll meet you there as soon as I can. Warn the priests? Shouldn't I attempt to stop the ritual? 
You'll be going up against the Coven by yourself. Warn the priests. If there's an opportunity to safely stop or delay the ritual, by all means. But don't take any unnecessary chances. I still don't want to lose another partner. Good luck. Good luck. I'll see you at the Kilrath Temple and after you warn the king. You know what we're going to do? You know what we're gonna do? We're we're yeah. we're gonna try to stop the 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 ritual. Yeah. Stop! Yeah. The disaster has befallen Kilcrease Temple. Yeah. This guy? Oh man, I forgot he was in this chapter. Don't be alarmed. I mean you no harm. But there are harrow fiends swarming around Kilcreath Temple who do. Head back to safety before they find you. I was sent to warn the priests. I'm sorry, but you're too late. Mm. An unnatural storm struck the temple and now the entire area is overrun by vampires and harrow fiends. What are harrow fiends? And for that matter, who the hell are you? Harrow fiends are feral vampires, a byproduct of the unnatural harrow storm. As for me, I am Fenorian of House Ravenwatch. I came here on the trail of remains stolen from a mass grave in Bankurai. They were shipped to solitude in ancient urns. Ah, I found urns and crates smuggled into solitude. They seem to be related to the Ice Crown Coven. Mm. Yes, I've run into the Coven as well. The urns and the stolen remains play a part in a ritual to summon the storms. If you're willing, I could use your assistance. I need to finish my investigation of the site to see what else I can learn. What do you need me to do? Gotta be the little errand girl again. I could use your help to examine the strange pikes erected around the temple. Harrow fiends and vampires roam the area, making it difficult to get close. Hence the need for your assistance. You see, I'm not that confident in my combat prowess. What exactly happened at the temple? The Ice Reach Coven performed a ritual that unleashed a harrow storm on the temple. It struck without warning and evaporated as quickly as it began. But in its wake, it left behind harrow fiends. Innocent priests and pilgrims transformed into monsters. Mm. What's a harrow storm? That's what I heard the Ice Reach Coven call the storm that struck Kilcreath Temple. It's magical in nature. The result of some sort of ritual performed by the witches. I'm still investigating, but I think harrow fiends are a byproduct of the storm. Not good. Aren't you a vampire? Is it that obvious? But have no fear. As a member of House Ravenwatch, I have pledged to never take blood from an unwilling subject. I assure you, I'm only here to help. It's okay. Raina harbors her own little secret, too. So, and we might be able to find out maybe next Saturday, depending on, you know, how things go this week. How can a vampire help stop the Ice Crown Covenant? I am much more than just a vampire. In addition to being an agent of House Ravenwatch, I am a master alchemist and an expert in arcane studies. I do try to avoid direct violence, though, to make sure I never give in to temptation. Uh, what's House Ravenwatch? House Ravenwatch is one of the noble houses of Rivenspire. Our liege, Count Verandus, has dedicated us to the cause of peaceful coexistence between mortals and those of the vampiric persuasion. That often makes us defenders of Tamriel. Hmm. See, the Ice Crown Coven is comprised of witches, not vampires. True, but I've seen evidence of a vampiric connection. At the very least, the material they transported from Bankurai included the remains of ancient vampires. They were part of an army that was defeated in the First Era. The Grey Host. Ah. The what? Grey Host? An army that consisted of vampires and werewolves, led by King Styrik of Vakarth. They were eventually defeated by the garrison at Bankurai in High Rock. It all happened a very long time ago, but such remains radiate with arcane power. 
Okay. Let's ride. Yeah. Look, priest of Meridia. Maybe they can tell us more about what happened at the temple. A vampiric bear. Dang. Things are all over the place. Please, can anybody help us? Oh, thank Meridia. The priests and pilgrims of Kiltrick Temple. We need assistance. A great and terrible storm struck, and so many of us were lost. Uh, what's Kilrath Temple? A temple dedicated to Meridia, the Lady of Light. Pilgrims come from across Skyrim to pray and seek blessings, especially at this time of the year. Please, talk to Priest Babian. You'll find her in the nearby cave, tending to the injured. Who is this priest? She's the ranking priest, after High Priest Varkor. But we haven't seen the High Priest since the storm hit. Bavian led a group of us to safety. But there are more priests and pilgrims out there. If you're willing to help, please talk to Bavian. I'll go talk to Bavian. The living take precedence. We should search for survivors while investigating the pikes. Right? Another pilgrim seeking shelter from a storm? No, you don't appear to be a pilgrim. What brings you here? Mm, I met a priest outside. He said you needed assistance. Even in our darkest hour, Meridia provides a light. We were on our way to see High Priest Varkor when the storm hit. I've never seen such power. It raged like a thing alive. I gathered who I could, but the others are still out there. Where do you want me to look? Start at the stables to the northwest. I saw Acolyte Yold, Priest Irena, and Rolygmoth the Pilgrim seek shelter there. If you find them, send them back here. After that, meet me at the Pilgrim's Lodge to the west of the temple. All right, here we go. Look for Yold, Direna, and Rolygmoth at the stables. Then meet me at the Pilgrim's Lodge. I will head there after I finish caring for these injured souls. Meridius light shine upon you, good friend. Tell me about the Kill temple. Creek temple provides a safe haven for the priests and pilgrims of Meridia. At least it did, before this terrible storm struck. The Lady of Light has always protected us. Why today should be different, I don't understand. Are you in charge of the temple? No. That honor goes to our High Priest Varkor. I am but her humble assistant. She is my mentor and my friend. After you find the others, I'll meet you at the Pilgrim's Lodge, and we can search for the High Priest together. Tell me about the storm. We were on our way to the temple for prayers when an oily black icor roiled in the sky. The wind picked up and red streaks of lightning struck all around us. We barely made it to the safety of this cave. The storm abated. Then the sound started. Ooh, what sounds? Groans. Shrieks, blood-curdling screams. It sounded like wild and feral beasts followed in the wake of the storm. I sent Priest Isofnir outside to keep watch, but I told him not to take any unnecessary risks. We're priests, not soldiers, after all. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? Thanks for coming in. How you doing, Conan? Time to go rescue people now. How's your Saturday night going? All right, let's uh, mount up. Off we go. An alchemical residue. That should prove useful. Would 
Nice. Not the last of them. Oh, thank feck. Right, Mary? I agree with you. Let's look for more witch pine. Let's see if we rescue somebody here. What happened to this poor woman? She looks distraught. I think we have to go inside now. It's a trap. Why has Meridia forsaken me? Oh, food. Keep calm. They mean you no harm. High priest Vakur will find me. Meridia will save me. When things are darkest, her light shines the way. Please don't eat me. Uh, Priest Pavian sent me. I'm here to help. Priest Pavian? Where's High Priest Vakur? Did those horrible creatures get her? We hid in the stables. But then, Priest Arena changed. That's when I ran in here. Go meet Pri Priest Pavian and the others in the cave of the southeast. I'll check on Priest. The other one. Hmm. Now, my friend Sue, she was the master of this stuff. She could, yep, she could open these things up lickety lick, lickety split. Looks like you're buying at the next pub, Fla. Right? I'll buy Mary a drink. Yeah, we're gonna loot this place. There we go. Sometimes when you read the books in the bookshop, they'll actually give you a skill up point. For uh, like woodworking or something like that. So, always good to read the bookshelves and to loot everything. Let's, let's see what's going on here. Yeah. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them. That's not good. Zombie vampires. Yeah, we're just, we're we're just gonna blast them. Woo, decapitator! Like I said, when it when things get rough when she pulls out the great sword the lingering energy that's daydrink if I'm not mistaken 
When, when the daggers just ain't cutting it anymore? Acolyte Ivina, please, wake up. Hmm. No visible damage despite its proximity to the eye of the storm. Acolyte Ivina can't hear me. She's standing right here, but she's gone. That acolyte, she's just like priest Darina at the stables. Oh, she's a she's a cute high elf too. Unfortunate. Is this what would have happened to all of us if I hadn't gotten the others into the cave? I tried to heal Ivina, but Meridia's light had no effect. But what was that about priest Darina and the stables? I found the people you sent me for. Hijal to save. Rolanoff is dead, and the other, well, you know. Is like poor Ivina. We must find High Priest Varkor. If anyone is powerful enough to cure this unnatural ailment, it will be her. Moridia willing. We'll find the High Priest and everyone else safe in the temple. Head for the temple. That's not going to end up turn out well. We need to find High Priest Varkor. Let's head to the temple. Yeah, working on it. I was tired of walking anyway. All right, first we're gonna go get this. Yeah. We're gonna go get this way shrine so we can fast travel easier. Then we'll head to the temple. Then we'll blast some vampires. All right, where is their temple? Is this the temple? Ah, oh, there is the temple. Let's finish up. Yeah. We'll finish up Fenorian's quest, and then we will uh, head to the temple. Is this like right in the same area? Dispatch the bad guys. It's depleted. Just ordinary sticks and rope now. Interesting. <laughs> These depleted witch pikes expended a lot of power to summon the Harrow Storm. Now they're just ordinary sticks. But even in this state, they tell us much about the ritual that flowed through them. I'm sure now that the pikes play a significant. It's the remains. They're coming for us. Dang, those things, like, respawned really quick. Shit. These depleted witch... It's the remains. One on a... All right, now we're going to go to the temple. Let's up this way. Damn, there's a lot of nasties around here. Should have made her a sorcerer or something, you know? Keep slicing, baby! Keep slicing! Come on, baby! Get him! Get him! Don't let him beat up on you like that! Mary, come on! Don't let them do that to you! That ain't right!
Are we on the temple yet? Or is it below us? It's probably below us. Oh shit. It's below us. Now we're stuck. By Meridia's light, so many dead. How could Meridia let this happen to her faithful? Right? See what see what we gotta do now. Monsters in this holy place. We need to find the temple priests. Working on it. She's only level 21, so she's just a baby. Well, there's one dead. Take his meridian medallion so we can remember his sacrifice. He's dead, Jim. We're gonna go this way. Bad guys inbound. Our own brethren have turned against us. They've become <laughs> monsters. Calm yourself, Acolyte, and tell me where the High Priest is. She's she's short enough. She can fit through that hole. So, I mean, I don't know why he won't let me through. I'm safe in here, but the rest of the temple, it's overrun with monsters. Worse, they're our own priests and pilgrims. I saw one pilgrim attack poor Larovor, ripped at his flesh with her teeth. Did the storm cause your brethren to change? The storm? I hadn't thought of that. Terrible things started happening after it began, though. This may be heresy to say, but Meridia has abandoned us. She doesn't care what happens to this place. I'm going to stay here until the danger's passed. Uh, you should leave the temple before those creatures find you. Who's there? Is that you, High Priest? <laughs> oh, damn! Like vicious animals. We must find the others. Damn! That, that some bitch was hungry! Come on, baby. Take it to him. We're working on it, Mary. See? I, I, that's, that, that was a professional takedown right there. Wow, lambs to the slaughter. Tria, Monazu. Monazu gave me no choice, Bavian. I swear it. Just this morning, we were debating the mysteries of the colored rooms. Now, now he's gone. He attacked me. He tried to devour me. I had no choice but to kill him. To kill a cherished student. Did, did, did he show any signs before he attacked you? Signs? Do you want to know if he announced his intentions before he turned into a ravenous beast? No. Nothing. One moment he was fine. The next, he was a monster. The High Priest took the survivors and fled to the catacombs. You need to help them. We'll go there. Priest Armin? Oh, wait. Follow me. He fled into the vestry. <laughs> Always running. Always running. Armin. I'm agreeable. Uh, 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 
Get him. Get him. Get him, Raina. on him, he'll bleed out eventually. Damn, there's a lot of these bastards down here. Even the rats are infected. Shit. All right, we got to get up there. Slice him, slice him, baby. Yeah. Yep, 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 we are. There we go. Oh, look at all them little bastards. Light does nothing to help those afflicted with this feral curse. We need to reach the catacombs and find High Priest Varkor. How do we how do we reach the catacombs? The catacombs can be accessed from deeper within the temple. We just need to get the key from the Chamberlain's sanctum. I think I know why the High Priest went to the catacombs. It's not only a defensible location, it's where our relic is kept. What relic? Meridia's brilliance. It has the power to channel her light and purge the temple of this corruption. At least, I hope it does. High Priest Varkor wouldn't just hide in the catacombs. She must have a plan to save us. I'll get to the catacombs and whatever. Yeah. Like I said, when it's time to lop heads off. It's when the great sword comes out. I don't want to hurt you, but now I'm going to. All 
Alright. Guy's letting me go first. Of course. He's just tagging along. Next room, of course. And then hopefully we can rescue these people. They're probably already dead. Did you find the key that opens the catacombs? Uh, oh, there. Sure did. Sure did, baby. Look at all these. Look at all these baddies. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Did you retrieve the key from the Chamberlain's sanctum? We need it to open the door to the catacombs. Perfect. There are only two keys that I know of, and the High Priest has the other one. Now open the door, and let's find High Priest Varko. Right? Ooh, this is not gonna end well. Everybody just dies in this one. Um, even the catacombs of you. Everybody is infected. Yeah, I think she might just stick with the great sword. She seems to be really kicking ass with that. The high priest with the light. Quickly, retrieve the relic. Retrieve the relic, and we can escape the air shaft. All prepared. Even the high priest is infected. Damn. Oh, that sucks. Let's meet back in the cave. Yeah, we're out of here. Uh, enough of zombie and vampire guts all over her. Gonna need a bath. You know, it's kind of interesting. I also used to write short stories about Elder Scrolls and stuff like that. So I think they're over here. Something like this. I think I still have them saved somewhere on my uh, Google Drive. I'll have to see if I can find them. I had like a whole entire uh, novel. Hey, I. C hey, how you doing, Conan? Thanks for coming in. Thanks for dropping by. Glad you're here. Like I said, appreciate everybody that followed me over from my Baldur's Gate three stream to this one. How fragile my faith, when I can depend more on help from a stranger than from my God. Well, already is just a Daedric Prince. 
And such terrible things we witnessed today. An unnatural storm. Vampires, innocent people turning into monsters. I fear this corruption cannot simply be prayed away. It seems that Meridia has abandoned us to our fate. Why? I cannot say. I can. Ah, oh, thank you. These belonged to Roligmolf and Acolyte Lorivor. I wish we could have saved them. But at least we can use these to remember them. I doubt we can recover their remains before the temple is sealed. How are you going to seal the temple? With Meridia's brilliance. I'm not sure my faith is strong enough to use it after all this, but I suppose I have to try. I owe that much to High Priest Varkor's memory. Do you have the relic? Here we go. I'll work with our remaining priests. Try to use the relic to purge the corruption and seal the temple. If that doesn't work, well, let's hope that it does. Thank you, my friend. You stood with us while Meridia turned away. We won't forget that. What will you do now? The injured still need to be treated and the temple's corruption needs to be dealt with. Despite the way I feel about Meridia now, I still have a responsibility. I won't walk away from it. Not like Meridia walked away from us. Sounds like you've lost your faith. I lost a lot of things today. We all did. But that doesn't mean I won't keep trying to help the faithful. There are injured to tend to, and those poor souls who lost their mind to the storm. I want to find a way to help them all. Mm, do you know how to use the rock? High Priest Varkor claimed it contained Meridia's divine light. There are rituals for releasing such power. Whether I or one of the other priests can make use of it, we'll see. I just hope we don't experience any more of those storms. Right? Goodbye. Okay. We're out of here. We did our good deed. this quest up Ooh, lots of nasties around yeah. ah, we're stuck we're stuck yeah. we're stuck lots of nasties oh but unresponsive check the crates and see if they contain the smuggled items right did you find anything of interest in the crate crate was empty except for some dust and ash I can't believe anyone knowing the involved would have let themselves be exposed to the storm Perhaps the pilgrims were tricked into transporting the crate. Or maybe it was slipped into their cart. Shall we check on the temple now? Yes, of course. Though I fear what we may find there. The temple was clearly at the center of the storm. Regardless, there's still a lot we don't know about the effects of this ritual. Observing the target area could offer new insights. Let's head to the temple.
easy way. Come on, baby. Let's go see the temple. Yikes. Why did it kill them to run away? Well, no, I guess it won't. Maybe they should try that. We got him. These are temple priests and pilgrims. It seems the storm killed them. You think? I'll need to perform more tests. But from what we've seen, I believe the storm affects mortals in three distinct ways. It kills them, transforms them into harrow fiends, or leaves them mindless. I suppose I'd say it harrowed those poor pilgrims. So what do we do next? I want to learn more about the ritual and how it produces the harrow storms. And I need to confirm my theories about the storm's effects. I'll start by examining the residue from the witch pike to identify the components used to power the ritual. What do you need to examine the res... What do you need to examine the residue? My alchemical equipment. It's extremely fragile, so I left it in my pack. I hid it among a copse of trees once I saw all the vampires and herophines. Once I retrieve it, I can find a place to begin my analysis. All right, let's go find your pack. Wherever it might be. Off, off we go again. And we just ran across a big pack of them. More. All right, but don't cry for mummy. Right, Mary? We got this. That's close enough, Leech. Wait, wait! I'm not part of the coven. Looks like I made it back just in time. This place is crawling with vampires, and that one was about to make a meal out of you. Uh, that's Fenorian of House Ravenwatch. He's he's investigating the coven just like us. House Ravenwatch. I've heard of them, but he's a long way from Rivenspire. Well, if you're willing to trust a vampire, I suppose I can too. I spotted a coven witch. If we hurry, we might be able to catch her. On the cliff overlooking the temple, calls herself Sister Embrit. I was going to rush her, but I wanted to make sure you hadn't run afoul of any of these monsters first. No offense, Fen. Come on, if we're lucky, the witch is still up there. Perhaps I could question the witch before you introduce her to your impressive axe blade? Oh, boss fight! Boss fight! Oh, we're going to take on a boss. Boss fight. Mini boss fight, I should say. Oh, yeah, you want some? All right, come on. Oh. All right. Mary burned a hole through your chest, bitch. Put a bleed or two on you. Oh, damn! Damn, she got a broken jaw now.
she took she took a good hit there and she got right back up just like like reina she's a reina oh yes needs refinement kill her before she can summon another storm i don't really? want to hurt you but now i'm going to sacrifice i'd rather give you my ass get her brace yeah Get him, Barry. I hoped you could take her prisoner. No matter. I found something. This way? Go with your vampire friend. I'm gonna look around here. Do you see? These are the same as the urns smuggled from Bankarai. They didn't just shatter. They exploded. Oh. I can sense traces of magicka clinging to the shards that match the energy used in the storm ritual. These other fragments, though. Other fragments? Hmm. All this rubble scattered around didn't just come from these urns. The texture and patterns are different. They appear to have used the funerary dust in the urns to summon the Harrow Storms. But I'm not sure what was inside the larger vessels. Larger vessels? Look at the shape of the fragments. They come from a hollow receptacle of some sort. Something at least as tall as you. Perhaps larger. It's just another piece of the puzzle. Maybe when I analyze the Witch Pike residue, an answer will suggest itself. Come to solitude with us. There must be a place where you can set up your equipment. Thank you, but no. I try to avoid large population centers. The temptation. You understand. I'll find some place nearby, but out of the way where I can set up my equipment and work undisturbed. I'll send word when I have something to report. Alrighty. Do you have a location in mind? I met a clever woman who lives in the bog near Morthal. Old Mjolins, a dying breed among the Nords, a practitioner of the old magic. The locals both admire and fear her. If anyone can help me untangle the coven's ritual, it's her. Hmm. What well, makes you think old Morlin can help? Mjolins' experience with the old ways and reach magic make her ideally suited to assist me in this endeavor. She's the closest thing to an expert we're likely to find out here. At least one who doesn't want to feed our eyes to a harpy. Have you dealt with anything like this before? The Raven Watch has had to curtail rogue vampire clans and put down feral blood fiends on occasion. But I've never dealt with anything like this before. People turning into harrow fiends or becoming mindless harrowed. It's a nightmare. Okay. Yes, but more research is required to confirm anything. Still, from what we observed here, it appears the Harrowstorm produced three distinct results in those caught within it. It turned them into Harrowfiends, or Harrowed, or it simply killed them. Right. Where's Morthal? Western Skyrim consists of three holds. Hafengar, Hjalmarch, and Karthald. Morthal is the capital of Hjalmarch. It's located southeast of Solitude, along the River Hjall. Old Mjolin lives in the marshlands nearby. All right, goodbye. Ooh, we're gonna go get this. Nice hole. So, what did your vampire friend discover? The Norian thinks the Harrow Storms create the Harrow Fiends and the Harrow. Reach witches summoning magical storms to create feral vampires? That's horrible, but to what purpose? Well, that's the next puzzle to solve. First, we need to get this information to the Queen. Here, 
This was for Brondel, but it's yours now. Queen Gerhild needs to hear what we discovered at Kilcreek Temple. Hopefully that will be enough for her to get us an audience with High King Spargrim. Right? Do we have enough ev evidence to convince the king and queen of the danger? The queen seemed reasonable. She'll believe us. As for Spargrim, who can tell? I haven't met the man, but everything I've heard describes him as prideful, arrogant, and hard-headed. Even with the queen's help, there's no guarantee. Right? So what do we do if, if High King Sovereign refuses to see us? I'd like to knock down the palace door, grab him by the throat, and shake him until he listens. That would probably start a war, though, and Joran specifically asked me to avoid that. For now, let's bring our evidence to Queen Gerhild. Let's go see the Queen. If there's anything else we need to discuss, let's get it out of the way now, before we return to Solitude. Right. What do you think the Ice Crown Coven wants to turn people into arrow fiends? Hey, you and Fenorian came to that conclusion, not me. Still, it makes as much sense as anything. As to why, I have no idea. This connection to vampires, though, that's troubling. We should keep Fen away until we get into Svargrim's good graces. Noren is going to seek help from a clever woman near Morthal. A clever woman? Out here? Nords are extremely distrustful of magic, especially Nords from Western Skyrim. I'm surprised the people of Morthal tolerate her presence. If anyone can help Fen figure out the Coven's ritual, though, it would be her. Right. Should we help them with their research? A priority remains getting an audience with High King Svargrim. We need to convince him that the Ice Reach Coven is a threat to his kingdom and get him to help us stop them. Let's return to Solitude and present our findings to the Queen. What is a clever woman? Clever men and women are Nords with an aptitude for magic though most use the term to refer to practitioners of the old ways. They're rare. Not the usual adepts found at the Mages' Guild. Distrust of magic runs deep in Skyrim, especially out here. Well, why do the people of Skyrim distrust magic? Could be that the elves our ancestors fought soured our taste for magic. Or maybe there weren't enough skalds singing about wizards going to Sovngarde. Might be that Nords just prefer their natural talents. Either way, magic isn't popular here. Yeah, all right. Beam me up. Cities, but I come from a big family, so it reminds me of home. Right? All right, so we're back in solitude. We are going to go ahead and park Raina the Wood Elf up here. And we are going to call it a night. And that is going to be a wrap. I just want to say thank you for everybody following me over from my Boulder Gate, Boulder Gate 3 streams and stuff. And once the game is fixed, hopefully soon, we will pick up where we left off with Reyna over there in BG3 and uh, continue that. If not, we will continue our quest in uh, Skyrim over here on Elder Scrolls on the Wood Elf Reyna and just kind of play it by ear. And I hope everybody has a good Saturday night. And thank you all for joining, and that is going to be a wrap.